Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Canteen Management System. So without much delay, we'll begin. First, we'll be seeing the requirements of this code. You will require an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor is required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, Windows operating system for executing your code. Now let's see the code part here. First, we have included all the header files in the standard line using namespace std. Then what we have done is we have initialized the coordinate to 0 and 0. Then there is a function named void go to xy, where we are taking two parameters int x and int y, and we are initializing the coordinate dot x and coordinate dot y with x and y. Then we have the send set console cursor position where we are initializing the console cursor position to the output handle and the coordinate. Then we have a class named store manage where we have the public access specifier and under this we have a function named void store variable page where we are returning the function store page and switch. So then there is there are certain variables which we were going to use like the canteen flag variable, number variable, and there is a character array also named canteen index. Then we have declared a structure named canteen manage, whose attributes include various arrays of character data type, where we have initialized those character arrays with their uh, size also, as you can see in the later part of the code. Then we have a section ID structure, where also some character arrays are being initialized, that is the int item name, item ID, and this index. Then we have a structure named index, where again we have multiple arrays declared. Then there is a sort index function, where we have arrays initialized and arrays changed, modified arrays. If the comparison of a particular index of an array matches with the next index of that same array then we have this sort section index function where again we are running various loops and we are going to increment the value of the section element and we are going to store it in the temp temporary variable here we have return function as well here if our item is found like whatever item we are searching we're going to make a string comparison. If it matches, then it displays your item is found. Or else it displays, sorry, the item search has been filled. Then the next function is search index, where we are going to search for the particular index where we are going to have a parameter, the formal parameter named character pointer item ID. Here we are going to run a loop from i is equal to 0 to i is less than number. And we are going to compare the particular element ID to the actual item ID. If the index search has been failed, then it displays, sorry, the index search has been failed. Then we have the search function where we are going to search for a particular value. If the second index search fails, then it displays, sorry, the second index search has also been failed. Then it uh, displays the records which are matched and it asks us to select an item ID. If the wrong item ID is being entered by you, then it displays, sorry, your search has been failed. Then we have the delete function. If whatever you want to delete is not present in the list, then it displays, sorry, the deletion has been failed. Or else it forms a sequential comparison and then it found that something you need to delete is present in the text file, that is the canteen.txt file. Then what does it do is, it deletes it from there and it stores a backup in another file so that when you want to recover that particular data, you can. Then after which it displays your deletion has been successful. Then order food function. This is the very important function because what do you do in a canteen? You basically order food. So the name of the canteen is Rose Canteen. 
and uh, if you want to add some data like if you want to add a particular recipe or a particular dish name then add it and if it doesn't uh, give you access as the admin then it displays sorry your file could not be added or else it asks you to enter the total number of food items it asks you to enter the name of the item the items id the name of the item the cost of the item the quantity of the item and the rating of the item if you enter a single item two times then it displays that it is a duplicate entry then uh, all then certainly all the food items will be sorted so that uh, it was very easy for the people who are trying it and if you press any other key you get driven towards that particular piece of code then see this is the format in which your uh, data will be displayed the id name cost quantity and ratings and it displays the total number of food items that have been ordered are this this is for the payment here you have to make a payment of this this is the payment which you want to do then thank you then again in case of food search it asks you to enter the item name to be searched so that you can know whether this is available on the menu or not then if you want to delete any food item also you can do the certain thing then we go to the main part that is the case part like the switch case part so depending on what you want to do you want to order food you want to search for a particular food you want to delete food or you want to have a bill accordingly you will be driven towards a particular piece of code after which it will display that thank you you have to please visit again or else if you press anything irrelevant then it displays sorry invalid choice you have to enter your desired choice again this is the this is for the employee here you can see all the employee functions are being added that employee display employee remove employee edit employee employee page switch on employee page so here you can display add details remove the details and exit from the system this all the functions are for the employee again you have to press the switch key and you have to we have used the switch option here accordingly you will be according to your selected option you will be driven towards a particular piece of code then here we have the add employee function where it asks us to enter the name of the employee the employee's age the employee's salary after which the employee will be successfully added to the system then the display employee function up which displays all the employee details remove employee if you want to delete the details of a particular employee uh, we have a text file named employee.txt where all the transactions what you are going to do is will be saved then here this is the main menu the login page here you have to log in as the owner or the employee or you want to log in from log out from the system all these functionalities you can enter so this is the owner login you have to enter the password and this is the uh, employee login so here also you have to employ you have to enter the uh, the password and the login id as the employee so after which here you can see if you enter anything irrelevant then it displays that sorry invalid choice press any other key to continue okay so this the password is your employee emp for the employee and for the owner owner it is own so after that only you will be getting into the code so this is the canteen management systems code so i hope you understood the working of this code now we'll be moving towards the vs code so that i can show you the actual working of this code so let's go to vs code now here it, uh, i have run the code it displays welcome to rose candy press one to log in and press two to exit so i press here one after which it asks me whether we i want to end a login as the owner the employee or i want to exit from the system so i press one because i want to log in as the owner so my password is o w and n so i entered so my access is granted so what do we want to do i want to display the details of the employee so i have not entered any employee age salary so what i have to do i have to add the details now so the new employee name is simran employee age is 20 and salary is say 15000 okay now let me add another employee's details is shubham and his age is 24 and his salary is 15000 okay so now let me display so this is what i got 
Now I want to remove the details. So what I can do? I want to remove Simran's details. So I press here Simran so that details is now removed. Let me see. Yes, see my details has been removed. Now I want to exit from the system. So I press 4. So here I exited from the system. Now what I'll do, I'll run it again and I'll show you the employee login. I'll show you the employee login. Okay. So now I press 1 to log in into the system. Now I want to log in as the employee. So what is the password? EMP. So I log in. It's granted. So what I want to do, I want to order food. So the total number of food items is 5. Uh, what is the items ID? It's 4. Name of the item is uh, say paratha. Cost of, cost of the item is 40 and quantity of the item is 3. Rating is 4. Then uh, what is the item 2? Let me see the item ID is 3. Name of the item is pizza. Cost say 100. Quantity of the item is 2 and rating is 4. Uh, number three, I want, uh, uh, tell me another item name. Let's say it's burger. Burger, uh, sorry, I items ID, I wrote burger, but that's fine. Burger, cost of the item is 99, quantity of the item is 1, and rating of the item is 3. Next, I can have a pastry, items ID, let me do 2. I can have a pastry. Cost of the item will be 40. Quantity of the item will be I need 3. And rating of the item is say 5. Then another I want is cold coffee. So the item ID will be 1. Name of the item is say cold coffee. Cold coffee. And the cost of the item and the quantity of item is 3. Rating of the item is 2. So, this is what it's sorted already. Then I want to, uh, what I want to do, I want to generate the bill. So, I press here 4. So, this is what I have. So, I have a payment of, I have to pay a payment of 700 rupees. Then, um, the rest, the, to search for a particular item, as we did in the case of the owner, that thing we have to do. And to delete the item also, same thing, you need to delete a particular thing, which we did in the, um, owner's case. Then I want to exit from the system. So I press here 5. So it says Rose Canteen. Thank you. Please visit again. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Stay tuned to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day.